What's up guys, Matthew Costa of Costa Clicks Photography here, back at with another video for you. Today I'm super excited because I have a package here. In this box is the brand new Sony A7C camera, so let's unbox it. Okay, so here we are, we have the box. Here it is, the box, Sony A7C, nothing else in there, so let's open this bad boy up, oh man I am so excited here to get you a good look, Sony A7C has the camera, it looks really cool, E-mount, 35mm full frame, you can see on the photo, I did get the kit. So it is coming with the new 28 to 60 millimeter f4 to 5.6 kit lens. Gonna see how that is. Let's open this up. I am so unbelievably excited. I've been shooting with this thing, the original Sony A7, for so long now. I can't wait to see how this thing's gonna perform. Which is gonna be such an upgrade. I'm just beyond excited. So opening it up, we have your manuals, health and safety, warranty information. Nobody ever reads these, let's be honest. Uh, if dust, oh, there's just like an information card here. If dust or debris gets inside the camera, blah, 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 basically telling you how to clean it. So in the box, very small box, might I add, like two hand size. We have what I believe is the lens, yep. Yeah. So this lens is incredibly tiny. Keep in mind, this is a full frame lens. Look at how small that is. Fits in the palm of your hand is 28 to 60 millimeter at 4 to 5.6. So I'm going to check that out more in a little bit. Don't need the bubble wrap. Then this is the star of the show. This right here, A7C camera body. Oh man, this is the first time I've held anything so premium. Okay, it feels really nice in the hand. The grip is actually deeper than the original A7. Just for a quick comparison here, you can kind of see the grip is definitely uh, bigger because it's that new style grip because it has the new battery system and it doesn't have the viewfinder here, it has it here and flip out screen. Now I personally actually like the flip up screens where you kind of have it here that the um, the A6000 series cameras have but a hey, flip out is also amazing the camera feels really nice in the hand obviously there's no battery in it but it's a really nice weight so I definitely can't wait to take a further look at the actual camera we're gonna put that to the side Here's the battery, comes with obviously just the one battery. Like I said, this is the NPFZ100, so it is the new style, bigger batteries. As opposed to, actually I think I have one here. As opposed to the NPFW50 that the older Sony cameras use. These are really tiny, much larger battery you can see. So that is really exciting. Camera strap, I almost never use these. Although with a camera so small, right? I might actually use a strap because this might actually be a really good just walking around all day camera. So we'll see about the strap. This is a wall adapter, charger. It's just a Sony USB adapter. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna use that. Uh, nothing in there. Then in the middle here, it comes with a USB Type-C, Type-A, uh, I'm guessing 3.1 cable, but honestly I'm not 100% sure. But that's for connecting the camera and charging. And that is everything in the box. So we're gonna move that to the side. Now we can take a closer look at the camera now. 
So looking at this thing right here, Sony A7C, feels really premium in the hand. You can see right there it says 4K inside steady shot. Uh, a lot of people complained when this camera was announced that it only has one dial, an exposure compensation dial, and the dial here. I will say it's a little strange, there's no dial on the shutter button right here, but you know, it is what it is. You can see right there, beautiful 35 millimeter full frame sensor. It feels really nice in the hand, I am loving this. Okay, so we have unboxed the camera. I've had it plugged in and charging for a little bit. There's actually some battery juice in here. First of all, I just think it's really cool to have a camera where I can do this with the screen, flip it out. I'm sure you guys all know by now the A7C has that flip out screen. Basically the exact same style as the Canon camera, so lets you flip it around any which possible way. Um, the kit lens that it comes with is incredibly tiny. It is crazy. Obviously when you're shooting, you have to turn it and it extends. So this is at 28 mil and then this is at 60. And then when you're done shooting to turn it off, it compacts like that. But it's really light, even with the, like, the batteries in here, obviously. It's a really light camera. I feel like I could shoot with this all day without getting fatigued at all, which is amazing. Especially when I'm shooting with a friend and not a client. You know, the shoots tend to go on basically all day because I'm just hanging out. So the fact that the camera is really small, really light, not lacking any features, I'm not missing anything that I would have in the a7 III, except for maybe a microphone jack and one or two little software features here that I may or may not know about. I don't really think I'm gonna miss them because again, I'm coming from the a7 original, baby. So this thing is amazing. The fact that it's way better the footprint is fairly similar in all directions, dimensions, except this is taller because of that. This is actually the body thinner. This is a thicker body, but I actually do feel like it makes for a really comfortable grip. And because I my hands, I personally don't have an issue with how short it is. I know some people like to have the grip be a little bit longer. I have no problem with that. So for me, this is a really great camera. It's really light. And as a portrait photographer, switching the lens here, that. Putting my 85 millimeter f1.8, this is the Sony lens. Now yes, the lens does look big, but it actually feels really well balanced in the hand. Not overly heavy in any direction or not. Click, click, click. It's amazing. So obviously this isn't a review, this is just an unboxing and my first impressions. And I am so excited that this arrived today. It was supposed to arrive tomorrow. Very happy to have unboxed it and bought it. Very happy with my purchase so far. Obviously this hasn't been a full review, just kind of a first impressions video as well as obviously the unboxing. So if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. And if you really like this video and you wanna stay tuned for that review, please be sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. Now get out there and be creative.